Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery Yellar32 here, and smash the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button as we continue to explode like a power level, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently sitting at 1,111 subscribers. 1111, I need to go make me a wish on 111111. 11, 11. <laughs> I hope that y'all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for all the support. It really does mean a lot to me. I wanted to talk about Konami once again, talking about the new Forbidden and Limited list. I just want to always talk about this from now on whenever they put out these articles for like the YCS that happens for like, you know, the new balance because that seems to be the trend that they're going to do because I want them to continue doing this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Konami for putting out articles like this because we as the community want to know the mindset behind why Konami bans something, you know, and like, you know, kind of see behind the curtain what it is that they're thinking about, you know, going into making these ban lists. It's very much appreciative. So along with that, I also want to say really quick, anyone that is going to the 250th YCS, uh, I want this play mat like five minutes ago. <laughs> this mat is sick. It is disgusting and it's it's so dope. It is so cool. Just every every I was about to say pronoun, uh, whatever the the adverb. Yeah, I think that describes or an adjective. I don't know. <laughs> I did take English or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I want this mat. So if you're going to the 250th YCS uh, in Europe. Bogota, uh, California, here in the United States. Um, if you don't want your mat, hit your boy up. I'm dead ass serious. Like I want this mat now uh, because I'm not going all the way out to California to uh, just to get a mat. So yeah. So if you're going, please let me know because I really want that mat. So let's just go ahead and uh, go through this article here. So of course they start off talking about, you know, here's the look at it, whatever. They start off with talking about tier. So the tier element deck was incredibly powerful in the last format and even got new options with tier element cash tier from Hypernova. However, the FNL list dealt a major blow to the strategy, now forces them to mix up their plan of attack. First, Kit Kalos is banned. Thank God that means instant fusion is no longer as powerful. So clearly they knew that instant fusion is good. And the tier elements themselves can't fuse into Kit Kalos to easily start up their combos. It also means tier element Rue Kalos can't be fusion some without a substitute like King of the Swamp. So what's interesting about just this first line here is that they acknowledge instant fusion won't be as good to get out Kit Kalos um, because, you know, obviously Kit Kalos is banned. It makes me wonder that since they have acknowledged the fact of instant fusion here, will we see instant fusion eventually be banned? Because people have been saying instant fusion needs to be banned for years. Similar to Scythe, like people were saying for years either Scythe or Dagda needed to be banned and they finally banned Scythe. And I think Instant Fusion just one day needs to be on that chopping block. Like, it's been at one for years. It used to be a three when Norden was around, and that was toxic. Instant Fusion is just so generically good. It just needs to go, in my opinion. They go on to say here, second, the main deck monsters, Sharon, Merrill, and Hoffenis are all limited, leaving Rhino Heart as the only unrestricted one of the original bunch. Since each tier monster can only use its effect once each turn, you can still make a lot of the same plays. However, using random deck destruction effects will no longer allow you to consistently pop off at a moment's notice. Tier element duels will need to use more controlled effects to make their plays happen. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. They don't want it to be as consistent. Finally, while not tier element, the quartet of Aigido, Medora, Kelbeck, and Keldeo are all limited. These were used with tier elements and other strategies as ways to fill the grave and reuse cards or to counter other graveyard decks limiting these cards will have a big impact on the tier element consistency again that's what i just mentioned you know hitting the consistency i still think all these need to be banned like just having all of them at one is just disgusting i think that these are just some of the most powerful cards ever put in in Yu -Gi -Oh, honestly up there with the dragon rulers uh just because of what they can do for other archetypes so i, I think that these cards just need to be banned on the next list then for sprite only one card was affected in the sprite deck but it was their most important one sprite elf is now banned this is one of the main ways the deck would generate advantage and put together their best plays no shit <laughs> without elf many of their play patterns are gone such as leaving an elf on the board to generate further advantage on the opponent's turn also elf used to be the primary way to go into gigantic sprite since elf itself didn't require multiple level twos um yeah uh, our homie Valley D put it best when he said that Sprite Elf is the most powerful card in uh, Power of the Elements. He's absolutely right. Like the card needed to go. It, a generic link to like that is just insane. It, it kind of makes me want to make a video about how Link monsters are debatably the most powerful summoning mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like it used to be Pendulum, but now that they've reeled that in, I feel like that that's gone to Link monsters now. But let, let me know in the comments. Uh, they go on to say it isn't all bad. However, sprites still have all their other options, including Sprite Sprint and all their main deck monsters. It remains to be seen a pure sprite or a hybrid such as Runic Sprite would be the best version of the strategy going forward. And then, of course, they mention here Flunder Stormwinds is banned, and they're just like, that's it. Like, I guess that they were expecting 
I guess they were thinking that the community wanted them to do more, which, yeah, I saw some people saying, like, Robina and Eaglin need to go to one, and Pen needs to go to one, and they're just like, no, nah, like, that's that's it, Pimp. Uh, the Flunder strategy is still capable of doing everything it used to do, except it can't end with the Barrier Statue to lock out non-win special summons, which, again, Barrier Statue is what made the board broken. Like, I, I have seen some people on, like, Reddit and stuff say, oh, like, you know, Empen's what made the board broken, but it's like, no, like, the fucking statue is what made it broken. You know, ending on just an Empen is not scary. Like, Magnificent Map, Dreaming Town, and Empen is pretty good, but the statue just made it disgusting. Uh, they go on to say, uh, Empen, Apex, Avion, and Rise Out were all still threats. They can also still use your monsters for their tribute summons, thanks to Flunderies and the Unexplored Winds. Makes me wonder if, since they're mentioning that, if we could see Unexplored Winds get banned, if that gets out of hand. But, I mean, that's just me, you know, tinfoil hat and do it during your turn thanks to magnificent map and dreaming town they're also a deck that's largely unaffected by a rise heart's continuous effect unless like they're trying to get their birds back and then a rise heart triggers to take one of the small birds yeah i've had that happen and it's great there's even talk of some duels using small world to play some of the other barrier statues such as torrent it remains to be seen if that strategy will work out for them makes me wonder if like if if this does work out for flunder using small world with torrent if they'll ban small world or they'll just ban all the other barrier statues because like now that Stormwinds is gone, like, I guarantee you, like, now throughout the years of Yu-Gi-Oh!, eventually we'll see all the statues get banned. Like, if Torrent gets abused, they'll ban Torrent. If the Light Statue gets abused, they'll ban the Light Statue. Or they just ban out Small World outright. To me, Small World is just, like, you got to have an IQ of 500 to even use that card. It's, ugh, no. Other notable changes, quite a few other things were updated on the FNL list. Artifact Scythe is banned, meaning it's not as easy to lock opponents down with Artifact Dagda, which used to be doable in just about any deck. Acknowledging that, yeah, hey, we, we fucked up with Dagda, we need to ban Scythe. I really like this line here, because they just know. They know what they're doing. Spiral Resort is now unlimited, opening that strategy up again. But with Master Plan still banned, it would require a new way of thinking for the deck to return to its former glory. This is literally Konami's way of saying, look, Sugar Boo Bear, Master Plan is banned for a reason. Y'all ain't getting that shit back because that card was broken as hell. So they're literally saying here, look, it's at three. You got to figure out a new way to play the deck because we ain't bringing back Master Plan. Like, I feel like them saying this is just like, look, we're not ever bringing back Master Plan. If they do, it would have to be a hard once per turn because all majority of the Spiral cards are soft once per turns besides uh, Super Agent. Also, I just did a retrospective on Spiral. So, you know, shameless plug. You should go check out that video. Many powerful tuners have become unlimited. Jet Synchron, Mecha Phantom Beast O-Line, and Distrudo. Maybe we'll get some results from Synchro decks thanks to these changes, which... I'm, surpri I'm surprised, but also not surprised that they didn't mention Duelist Nexus, um, because we still have to get to Cyberstorm Access, and then after Cyberstorm Access, we get Duelist Nexus, so it makes sense for one, because Halky Firex is banned, that they unban all these, but then also number two, because when we get Duelist Nexus, that's setting up to be a tuner, synchro-centric 5D set, so the more tuners that are back at three, the more inclined people will feel to want to play those cards. Um, so that is something interesting to keep in mind moving forward. Um, you know, especially with all those Crimson Dragon cards that are going to be in Duels Nexus, which we've covered on the channel as well. Again, shameless plug. Um, but with all those Crimson Dragon support cards and Ultima to Zulkin, um, which I wouldn't be surprised if Ultima to Zulkin is a Starlight Rare in Duels Nexus, you know, the more tuners that people have access to, the better. And honestly, like, I feel like people love synchros. Like, you know, you look at Edison format, people love Edison format. That was a synchro era, um, format. And so, you know, the more tuners that you get people, the more excited they're going to be to want to play their synchro decks, even if, you know, the lines of play are very specific, at least right now, like in order to get out like Quasar Dragon and all that. And you got to hope that you don't get Nibiru, which the deck suffers now, because of course, people are going to play Nibiru to stop Cash Tira. So yeah, that is Konami uh, explaining the ban list. Konami, uh, again, thank you for doing this. We've been wanting this kind of stuff for years. You know, people say I'm always negative, but it's like, look, I'm being positive right now. I applaud for Konami for doing these types of articles, and I hope that they continue to do it. Uh, but yeah, so guys, if you are going to the 250th YCS, for the love of God, get your boy this map because I will pay you for this map because this this is a sexy map. This this gets me and the Ultra Ball and the Ultra Banana hard. Like, we, we want this sexy map. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.